Hello everyone, welcome to Biology with Shalini and in this particular tutorial we are going to talk about cell membrane fluidity and role of cholesterol in maintaining the fluidity. Okay, so fluidity is the ability of a substance to flow. If it is able to flow freely then it means it is fluid in nature but if it is having difficulty in moving or flowing then it is viscous in nature. So if a substance is viscous in nature, its fluidity is automatic, uh, it means that its fluidity is very, very, very less. Cell membrane is made up of phospholipids. It is, uh, fluidity is temperature dependent and cholesterol plays an important role in maintaining the fluidity of cell membrane. And if the cell membrane is having abundance of uh, polyunsaturated fatty acids or uh, unsaturated fatty acids, then it's going to enhance this fluidity. And how do they do it? I'll explain it later. Now, question arises that why this fluidity is important in nature? You know, cell signaling for the development of embryo, for the movement of RBCs and WBCs, for the d drug delivery, fluidity is very much required. So, if I say about the fluidity of WBCs of RBCs, we know that WBCs makes up the defensive system of our uh, body. So, suppose in our body, infection is happening there. So, our WBCs needs to migrate from this particular place to this, parti uh, this particular place. So, if they are not fluid in nature, if their cell membrane is not fluid in nature, they will not be able to move freely. Hey na? So, this property of fluidity because they are fluid, their cell membrane is fluid in nature, they won't have any problem or difficulty in moving from this particular place to this particular. Yes. Similarly, as I said, drug delivery. Suppose this is our cell and this is our cell membrane. So, whatever drug we are inserting, it needs to go through this lipid uh, bilayer. Hey no? So, this liposome, uh, sorry, this, uh, suppose we are having, this is the carrier of our drug. So, it needs to migrate, it needs to transfer, it needs to penetrate this lipid bilayer. So, if this cell membrane is rigid, if it is not fluid in nature, will it be possible for the drug to go through this lipid bilayer? No. So, this is the importance of fluidity of the cell membrane. Ki agar humko koi drug apne cell ke andar mein bhijwana hai, so isko jane mein koi problem nahi hogi. Hai na? So, it will be sent inside the cell very easily. Now, the factors which are responsible for the maintenance of lipid bilayer, they are the first one are hydrophobic interaction hydrophobic pani se dur jane wala hydrophobic interaction between hydrophobic chains right hydrophobic interaction between hydrophobic chains second is van der Waal force of interaction between chains these chains third is Hydrogen bonding between head group. These, these head groups, suppose, okay, this is a phospholipid. So, this head group is hydrophilic in nature. And this tail is hydrophobic in nature. Right? So, hydrogen bonding between, our cell membrane kaisa hota hai? Aisa hota hai na? So, hydrogen bonding between these polar head groups and hydrogen bonding between water which is present in the extracellular environment of the cell you know is cell ke bahar mein there would be uh, the presence of water hamare system mein so hydrogen bonding between water and polar head group so basically these forces or these factors are responsible for the maintenance of lipid bilayer because they kind of 
होल्ड दिस बाइलेयर स्ट्रक्चर इन अ स्टेबल पोजिशन अगर ये फोर्सेज नहीं होंगे इफ दे आर नॉट प्रेजेंट इन आर सिस्टम इट विल बी डिफिकल्ट टू मेंटेन दिस लिपिड बायलेयर स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द सेल मेम्ब्रेन नेक्स्ट ओके सो दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर दिस इज द लिपिड बायलेयर बायलेयर यू कैन नॉट सी बायलेयर हेयर बट दिस इज द वन सेक्शन ऑफ आर सेल मेम्ब्रेन सो वी आर हैविंग फॉस्फोलिपिड this is the head group of our phospholipid and this these are the tails so if we increase the temperature so what's going to happen so these the distance between these head groups and these tails is going to increase and this is the plasma structure and if we decrease the temperature they are slightly compacted because jo kinetic energy jo hai hamare tails ka That is going to increase with the increase in temperature. So, जैसे ही kinetic energy overcome the different forces. I told you a while ago that these are hydrophobic bond wall and hydrogen bonding and hydrogen bonding between water and polar head group. So, this kinetic energy increases and thus they overcome these forces. And क्या होता है? We get this plasma structure. Next, when we decrease the temperature, so kinetic energy you know it's not sufficient for uh, overcoming these factors or th these forces so we get a compact structure because force of interaction force of attraction jo hai it it increases when the temperature is down so kinetic energy decreases and we get a crystal structure now factors controlling fluidity these are lateral movements these are the other factors controlling fluidity those were the forces which were responsible for maintaining the stable structure of plasma membrane and these factors are lateral movements of lipids cholesterol unsaturated or saturated fatty acids or length of fatty acid chains now see the case here role of temperature in long chains and role of temperature in short chains in this case these chains these uh, fatty acid chains are long so when they are longer they have more surface area they have more surface area as compared to short ones so what's going to happen force of interaction interaction will be more and stronger so if we increase the temperature melting point will be higher isko melt hone mein time lagega kyu because they are having strong forces of interaction force of interaction will be so melt melting point automatically gets increased because they are having the large surface area so the force of interaction is very strong whereas in short chains surface area is less as compared to long chains so melting point will be lower if we increase the temperature because inka itna zyada force nahi ban pa raha hai isme inki force bahut zyada hai so similarly in case of saturated fatty acids and unsaturated fatty acids saturated fatty acids are which are having no double bonds all the carbons are occupied by hydrogen whereas in unsaturated fatty acids there are presence of there is presence of double bond okay so not all the carbons they are surrounded by hydrogen bond okay oh sorry this was by mistake 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 okay so if we increase or uh, if we decrease the temperature so if our cell membrane is having saturated fatty acids so what's going to happen they will kind of compress okay they will get compressed these phospholipids they will get compressed and so they press in on each other so fluidity gets decreased whereas in unsaturated fatty acids because they are having kinks because of the presence of double bonds unsaturated fatty acids are having kinks and because of these double bonds they push the adjacent molecules away ये जो भी मॉलिक्यूल्स हैं ये जो फेरी एसिड चेंज हैं दे विल पुश दम अवे सो विच हेल्प इन मेंटेनिंग द फ्लूडिटी सो दिस इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सेचुरेटेड फेटी एसिड्स एंड अनसेचुरेटेड फेटी एसिड्स ऑन कंट्रोलिंग द फ्लूडिटी ऑफ द सेल मेम्ब्रेन लुक योर क्लोजली 
दे आर नॉट हैविंग किंग्स है ना दे आर गेटिंग फिट मोर ईजिली इन दिस स्ट्रक्चर एंड दिस इज पुलिंग द एडजेंट मॉलिक्यूल टू वर्ड्स इट वेर एज इन अनसेचुरेटेड फैटी एसिड्स बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रेजेंस ऑफ किंग्स दे आर पुशिंग देम अवे सो बिसाइड्स दोज फोर्सेज विच आर हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग और वॉन्डर वॉल्स और हाइड्रोफोबिक इंटरक्शन दे आर ऑल्सो एक्जर्टिंग द प्रेशर दे आर ऑल्सो यू नो गिविंग द फोर्स टू पुल दम एप सो इट्स गेटिंग स्टैक्ट इट्स गेटिंग कंप्रेस्ड एंड द फ्लूडिटी इज गेटिंग डिक्रीज whereas in unsaturated fatty acids scenario is totally different because of the kinks they are getting pushed away so the fluidity in it increases in case of unsaturated fatty acids so to summarize all the things i would say that at lower temperature if temperature is low so phospholipids in the bilayer these are the phospholipids in the bilayer so they do not have much kinetic energy their kinetic energy is low they do not have much kinetic energy so they are not able to move if they are having kinetic energy they will probably move so jab unke paas kinetic energy hi nahi hai they are deficient in kinetic energy so they pack together they get compressed so this force of interaction will be more so fluidity will be less whereas if the temperature is high so their kinetic energy get increased so it increases to an extent where it overcome the intermolecular forces and these intermolecular forces are hydrophobic interaction hydrogen bonding between a polar uh, head group and uh, water present in the extracellular environment hydrogen bonding between polar head groups and van der waals forces of interaction so jab temperature is less fluidity gets decreased temperature is more fluidity gets increased okay and the second factor was tail length so if the tail length is more it is longer then membrane fluidity gets decreased why because force of interaction will be more because they are having more surface area surface area zyada hai so the force of interaction will be more so fluidity will get decreased if the tail length is shorter it is short so opposite of this process will take place okay surface area will be less so the force of interaction will be less and if the force of interaction is less it means fluidity gets increased simple language mein fluidity means jab ye molecules separate ho jayenge and they'll be free to move और अगर ये कॉम्पैक्ट है दिस इज रिजिड दिस इज विस्कस इन नेचर ओके सॉरी फ्लूडिटी इंक्रीजेज दिस इज फ्लूड इन नेचर एंड दिस इज विस्कस इन नेचर नाउ द रोल ऑफ कोलेस्ट्रोल सो एट लो टेम्परेचर सो दिस इज द कोलेस्ट्रोल इट इट गेट्स इंसर्टेड रैंडमली इन आर फोस्फोलिपेड बायर इट कुड बी प्रेजेंट हियर दिस कुड बी प्रेजेंट हियर हियर एनीवेयर so our phospholipid tend to cluster right but cholesterol is inserted when the cholesterol is inserted so it increases the distance between phospholipids you can see here that during a low temperature when it's going to get uh, compacted so this because of the presence of this cholesterol because of this huge ring you know this will increase the distance between these two phospholipids so this is going to increase the fluidity it acts cholesterol basically acts as a buffer and uh, because of this cholesterol normal level of fluidity is maintained in our plasma membrane so and suppose uh, temperature is getting increased drastically it's very high so what's going to happen phospholipids they are already far you know temperature jab increase hota hai so phospholipids are already 
they are far so because cholesterol is present cholesterol is having this hydrophobic part also this hydrophilic part also so this cholesterol is going to pull these phospholipids and it tend to keep them close it interacts with them so what's going to happen fluidity gets decreased decreased okay fluidity will uh, decrease when the temperature is very high and it will increase when the temperature is low and all this is going to happen all this thing is happening because of the presence of cholesterol